short one tonight because I'm mad and I don't want to talk mad. Not to you guys or to future me. Um, and I'm probably going to be mad the rest of the night. Everybody watching this recently will know. Just from the context of me saying it's January it is the 6th, isn't it? Yeah. I have no concept of time, but I do have a concept of anger. And I am angry. Just by saying it's January 6, 2021, should give you enough context as to why I'm angry. And if it doesn't, because for some reason this didn't go down in history as one of the most outrageous acts of domestic terrorism, domestic terrorism, maybe even terrorism in general because it was domestic that has ever taken place in our country uh, happened today yet for some reason it's whitewashed and swept under the rug one, I'm extra mad go ahead and note that and if that's the case then you can elevate me from mad to livid for the rest of this video but I'm going to speak at the mad level because I can't speak from the future. But if for some reason it is, today is the day that the 2020 election was to be certified in Congress. And today is also the day that Donald Trump held a rally in Washington, D.C. early this morning to oppose those results. And today is the day armed with anger directly from their glorious leader's mouth, the once rally goers marched down the street to Capitol Hill and became rioters. They forced entry into the Capitol. Um, all of the representatives, all of the Congress representatives, both the House and the Senate were escorted by police to a safe location. They, these absolute traitors, these terrorists, broke into the Senate, gained access to the Senate floor, um, and defiled it. Because their guy lost. Because their guy lost and he spent two months, two months bitching and moaning that there's no way he could have lost. That had to be rigged. He said it even before the election. He said it even weeks before the election was had. If I lose, it's because the system is rigged. If I lose, it's because they stole it from me. That's what he said. He ensured laws go in place that absentee ballots and uh, early voting ballots could not be counted until the polls close, ensuring that the election looked like it was stolen from him, because on the day of, the turnout was mostly Republican. Why? Because he spent six months spitting on mail-in voting. Meanwhile, us rational people used it anyway, because there's a pandemic, because going to the polls might just kill grandma, or, or end up with you, in a, you on a ventilator. Maybe you'll spend the rest of your life not being able to smell and taste, if you're lucky enough to survive, because the ICUs are packed, so you might not have a hospital to go to. So yes. The majority of us reasonable people voted early and by mail. And because they were the majority, they took longer to count. And it's exactly the illusion he wanted. Exactly the illusion he wanted. He wanted it to look like he was winning. Like there was no way he could lose. And suddenly in the dead of night... Democrats stole it from him. How dare they? How dare Georgia recount the votes four times 
and get the same results. How dare they? How dare they not ensure that their guy won by any means necessary? Obeying the law? What's the, no. Trump thinks he is the law. And if you don't obey him, he will crush you. Or try to. He's swiftly losing that power. As it stands, there's a decent chance he won't even get to the 20th. His cabinet is already discussing whether or not to invoke the 25th Amendment. Meaning he would be immediately removed from power. Not impeached like last time. He would be immediately removed from power. And until January 20th, when President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in, Vice President Mike Pence would be acting president. Why? Because he incited all of this. Then he refused to denounce it, and when he finally showed up in a pre-recorded video on Twitter to ask people to go home because they were totally watching Twitter while they were doing whatever they were doing in, in, in congressmen's offices and on the Senate floor, did he open by saying, it's time to let this go? No. Did he open with by saying, go home? No. He eventually said it, but that wasn't the first thing he said. What was the first thing he said? This election was stolen from us. Stolen from me. Stolen from you. Stolen from our country. But you gotta be good and go home now. We love you. You are very special. His words to armed protesters, no, armed terrorists, storming the Capitol building and demanding democracy be overridden in favor of their leader. We love you. You're very special people. Those were his words. The man's never been fit for power, but now more than ever he needs to be removed before it gets even worse. I thought this light would help, and instead it's just accenting the shadows, and it makes me look much hairier than I am. And it's distracting. My chest hair is only half as there as it appears. Better lighting reveals this. If you come down here. I'm best. I am. I'm truly best. And that last little, I don't know, wannabe want to be speech uh, is the calmest reaction you're going to get from me out of uh, out of all of this but it's ridiculous um, it's just ridiculous this is domestic terrorism and if it's treated and if they are and, and, and you know just the fact that so many of them walk free for today. They won't be free forever. Don't get me wrong. Don't, you know, there's plenty of cameras in the Capitol building. I guarantee you that because these were Trump supporters, remember, so most of them were not wearing masks. So very easy to identify. No problems there. Um, So they'll probably end up, you know, they'll end up arrested and on trial for treason and all sorts of awful things that uh, won't be enough. And I think what makes me the angriest is somewhere in several places right now, I guarantee you, 
there are just shining examples of ignorance praising these men and women as heroes man I wish I'd have been there I wish that had been me back during the whole neo-nazism a couple of years ago that was massively if it wasn't sparked by it it was uh, certainly encouraged by it the the horrible march at Charlotte in Charlottesville um, youtuber Tom Scott joked and that agreed with him uh, give it enough time and people are gonna say ISIS had the right idea and why weren't we lit you know why didn't we listen to them the same way that we that Ignorant people glorify the Nazis now. They'll glorify ISIS in the future. Future. It seems like that happened sooner than expected, and they jumped over ISIS and went straight to Trump. Because he's been nothing but a disease to this country. Christians want to hold him up on a pillar because, uh, because of protecting Israel or whatever. While he encourage destruction in our own streets. He's not the president of Israel. He's supposed to be the president of the United States. And he's done nothing but sell us out. And in some cases literally try to sell us off. Uh, he tried to sell Cuba for it might not be Cuba, I might be talking up my ass on that one, but he tried to trade property for Greenland because he wants to build golf, court, golf courses there. Literally attempting to use his presidential power for personal gain, which is like the one thing you're not allowed to do. The one, it's like the one rule that you're supposed to work for the people and not yourself. That's like the one thing about being an elected official. And he can't even pretend to do that right. There's syrup on this thing. I live in squalor. <laughs> it's self-inflicted. I'm done because I could go on forever. But just know that I am appalled and disgusted by the actions taken today. And um, if Trump retains power to the 20th, I'll be just as appalled and, disturbed and disgusted because he frankly does doesn't deserve to keep power the rest of the night. It's 9.30. He doesn't even deserve power till midnight. Because of his inability to just stand up and say that's not what I wanted. Violence is bad. That's all he had to say. He couldn't even do that without whining and complaining about the election that he quote that was quote unquote stolen from him. I'd call him a child, but that would be an insult to children. That's how bad he is these days. He is inhuman. He is a man who was born and raised that all he had to do was scream loud enough and he could have whatever he wanted. And he thought being the president would only accent that. And the worst part is, so many so-called Republicans let him do it. I was raised Republican. I don't agree with everything they are. I don't agree with everything they're supposed to be. But I know what they are now is about as Republican as my dog is. They're holding up the name like it still means something while they're doing, following none of their own doctrine. They embody none of their core values. Uh, they're supposed to be for middle and work. They're supposed to be representative of the working class. They work extra hard to make sure the working class is um, 
It's treated as awful as possible, and the 1% have all the money. They're supposed to believe in small government, and they only do when it comes to not providing health care and making sure that Democrats can't tell you what to do. Now, if a Republican tells you what to do, you're, you damn better listen to them, or else you're not patriotic. But if it's like Nancy Pelosi, then fuck her. That's, that's, that's what they are today, and it's disgusting. And I think it might be time for the Republican Party to die. I think they. I think that any future ones that want to take up the actual Republican banner uh, probably need rebranding. I don't know if the party can come back from this. This was the party of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln would be sick. He would be disgusted by Donald Trump. I'll catch you on the morrow.